is almost time. 1.20 is almost time to be revealed. Yep, 1.20 is almost time to be revealed in Minecraft Live. Just one sleep left to Minecraft Live. I can't believe we've made it. Which ones are y'all gonna are y'all gonna be voting for? Are are y'all voting for? I'm thinking the sniffer. More on the sniffer. Either the sniffer or the um tough golem. Yeah, the tough golem or the um. Tough Golem or the Sniffer. Again, I don't know what I was, what I'm doing. People are saying that at one point twenty could be archaeology. Wow, the say is two nine seven, really? Okay. Now I want the spectator. It'd be great. It'd be great if one point twenty is an end update. To make it like the netter, but who knows exactly. I mean, I'm always happy with whatever dimension or whatever update gets announced, but if I have to say one that I really hope it would be, the end dimension needs an update. Let's see. I feel like this is a good spot for an ancient city, right? An ancient city because of the new mountains from 1.18. But hey, we can go with it. Gotta be careful with powder snow, though. Again, you you have until twenty four hours today on the voting. Got twenty four hours to vote for what mob you want to be added. It's not like that they're doing it the day before the event. So, and most likely there's not going to be multiple rounds. Yeah. can't believe that we're getting iron straight away right here <laughs> without even going into a cave again I feel like it's gonna be with the mobs the mob vote I feel like it's gonna be like last year where I where I don't where I'd be happy with whatever mob wins because I was I was happy that the ally won just because of how hard the difficult or the decision was which was good too I'm not complaining that I didn't like that it was hard but still I was happy that the ally won because of how difficult they might actually how challenging they made the voting all right to which which mobs we wanted because of all of them were good and again 
exactly like it's going to be exactly like last year with the LA, the Glare, and the Copper Golem. I have a feeling. Oh, no, no, no. Eh, 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 eh. Powdered snow. Gotta be careful with powdered snow. I have a feeling, again, I have a feeling to what mob would pop, will possibly win. Either the tough golem or, well, the tough golem or the rascal. I feel like there's going to be the ones that are possibly will win. I feel it. I kind of feel that's going to be who's going to win. I have a feeling. I'm mostly going for the glare, to be honest. I'm, I'm going more to the, for the glare. Yeah, I'm, I'm going more for the glare. I mean, not the glare. That was last year's. <laughs> the, um, the sniffer. Sorry. I'm going more for the sniffer. Yeah, I don't know why I was saying last year's mob vote. Or last year's mobs. I meant to say the sniffer for this year's vote. What do y'all think of the Mario trailer? I am so excited for it. It's looking really good. Having to get used to Chris Pratt, though, as Mario, or his Mario voice. As I'm sure we'll be able to get used to it once we watch the movie. Jack Black does sound like, and looks like, or Bowser looks like Jack Black, and fits Jack Black, for sure. Can we just agree? Let me Okay. Yeah, I feel like there would be an ancient city. Wait. Oh, okay. Pumpkins. Wait, let's see. We need food badly. We need food. Okay, sape. Thank you, sape. Ha! Huh, got a trophy. Well, I got food, but the problem is, 
I don't have any fuel. I'm sorry, Sape, but I need you. I'm very curious to see what that new plant will be. And we have seen that the sage that the sniffer sniffs is called an ancient sage. Very interesting. I guess we're just going to have to cut down this tree to get the fuel. Okay, got a bad. Whoa, oh, that's quite dangerous. That fall, that fall looks very deep or like it goes very deep wonder how far that even goes Okay, I'm going to let the, the iron smelt too. That's cool though, right here. Get this eight before it despawns. Iron pickaxe. I don't know why I just did that. Thankfully, I can just re. Oh, dear. No. 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 <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Drop his bow. Yeah, as long as there's no creepers, we're good. sword thought I made my I thought I made me a shovel I don't know why I thought I did make a bucket.
Hey, there's a donkey. Z All right, skeleton, how are you still alive? Skeleton, why are you not? I don't know why. Yeah, I really shouldn't have got that, gotten that close. Listen, skeleton, I'm not getting close to you. Gotta be careful. Oh, there's a village. I was really hoping that there would be a village. I'd really hope. I was really hoping there would have been a village close. Wait. Get as many of these. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, I can already see. Wait. We're definitely going to be doing another stream once um, after Minecraft Live and talking about 1.20 after it gets revealed and after, of course, Minecraft Live ends. We'll be doing another stream talking about everything that we saw at this year's Minecraft Live. And talking about again one point twenty. Apples. Here we go. Replace that bad with a with a white bad.
Uh, there's another village. There's another village over there. <laughs> wow. Can't believe that. I could get, make myself a hoe, but I really don't want to. Where's that iron golem at? There he is. I'm sorry, iron golem. Here, let me back up a little bit. There you go. Sorry, Iron Golem. There's another. <laughs> Let's go to that other village. Whoa. Okay, that's a big cave. Again, I'm sorry, Iron Golem. I'm actually surprised I haven't built an Iron Golem farm in my survival let's play world yet. I'm very surprised. I'm going to have to make one. And I haven't built a grinder yet in my survival let's play world too. Like, for real. How many episodes, just the amount of how episodes that we have raised. Not long to 200 episodes on my survival let's play world. And we yet to make it to a, um, getting those. Having those. Or any other farm, mob farms. And this village was okay. It wasn't like the last village.
I don't know where I'm going to build a base or something. Oh, we're already down to the last mutton. Let's go for the apples. Yeah, I think we'll keep this this world right here for uh, the stream after we um do or after Minecraft Live and after we say 1.20's reveal when we talk about and this uh, talk about what we've seen I think that's what we'll do Always try to find somewhere gr a great area to that I think will be really great to build a base at. Not really hunting for cows right now. I know you're probably wondering why I'm not getting cows, but I'm not really focused on the cows right now. Wait, imagine if I get first try. Nope. Dang. Well, we tried. More wolves. I think that's a swamp nearby. Yep. Oh no, but there's lava there.
It's not a mangrove swamp, but it's it's good. Oh, I see a ruined portal up there. Hey, frogs. <laughs> They're about to pounce on me. Those frogs were about to pounce on me. Should I really try to go up to that ruined portal? Is it really worth trying to go all the way up there to the ruined portal? No. No. Mm -mm. No, it ain't. It's not. I'm not gonna go up there and get it, cause I doubt there's any good loot in there anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try. I won't try. Oh, there's foxes. <laughs> I actually thought of something. I might actually go or try to find that eater or eater um dimension map. From the marketplace that I got to do it for a little bit and say oh there's a village back there to save the rest for the next stream that's what I'm thinking at least I don't know more swamp, just regular swamp. Got two emeralds. I wouldn't want to try to find somewhere safe if we do do that, like I said. Very, very careful because slimes are going to start spawning. Piggy. Oh, hi, skeleton. Ow. Hey, Enderman. 
That's a giant mushroom back up there. Alright, so let's get to there. Put something over this put over this screen so until we get to there. Or right, try to find it. I'm gonna try to find it. I'm sure I still have it. Right. I don't think I have it anymore. I should though. I don't see it. I guess this is something like it then. This one right here. I don't know. Might be. Still cool how the ether is actually a map that you can do. Even if it was stolen or made without permission. Oh yeah. Turn it into creative. <laughs> I haven't been on this map in a while. Mutant melons, enchanted berries, candy cane sword, a golden temple. I guess this is supposed to be like a heaven or something from the actual Aether mod, but I'm pretty sure in the actual Aether mod there is actually one that is like that was like that I can't remember why again I can't remember how I oh yeah I forgot this armor actually gives you this stuff okay that's weird how oh okay I was gonna say that's weird how my arms is but I forgot about this Oh. oh, hi. Yeah, we just began a boss fight. Wasn't, I wasn't even intending on it. Wow, that does so poor damage.
All these swords just seem to be doing poor damage. Got it. Almost got it. Almost got it. Slowly but surely. Come on. You can't remember what happens when you kill it. Killed it. Victory. Oh, lag. Piece of cake. Yeah, it was a piece of cake. Oh, it actually gives you the armor. A totem. A trophy of the dragon. an egg right here. Oh, and it's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby one, which I fear that it's probably gonna grow into an adult again. I still really hope that there's there would be some kind of sky dimension that is similar to the Aether as an actual update. Not a mod, but an actual update, actual feature, dimension. We need an actual sky dimension. Their map. Pretty good recreation of the ether, right? Good recreation of it. Of course, it's not the exact same ether that um, King B Dogs made. The actual creator of the Aether before he worked at Minecraft. <laughs> this is just still, it's just still crazy that King B Dogs made the Aether, the first ever made the Aether mod before he worked at, before he got hired at Mojang <laughs> back in the day. Having a creator of one of the most popular mod popular mods of the game be a actual developer at Mojang. <laughs> oh. Hey butterflies. Well, not actual butterflies. I feel like there's a boss in this area too. I know I know there's multiple bosses. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he is actually taking much more damage. Victory. Just slitters in the ground. Whoa. Got the two trophies. Still hear it. <laughs>
I got a loop, loop in here. I'm pretty sure in these towers. Yeah. Totem of, totem of life. Okay, you can't put that in your offhand. Again, it's been a long time since I've done this map. We're technically in the clouds. <laughs> technically in the clouds, because that's the aether. The whole thing of the aether is being above the clouds, and it's raining. <laughs> it's raining and above the clouds. Again, that's pretty much what the Aether is. It's like a heaven dimension. <laughs> because you have the Nether, which you already know what it represents. And then the Aether, which is all very happy and colorful and stuff. And it's in the clouds. So that's pretty much the whole thing of the Aether. That's what the Aether pretty much is. represents heaven. And that's what the aether pretty much is. The aether dimension. Makes sense, right? Rainbow ingots. Where are these? They're like golems. Or trolls. <laughs> Not golems, trolls. Rainbow block. I know if you fall off, you'll go back to the overworld. Just like in the actual Aether mod. Because <laughs> again, you're above the clouds. That's the Aether, is above the clouds. So if you fall, you fall out of the sky. Back to the ground. Like for example, if I fall, if we fall, See? Back in the overworld. <laughs> Falling out of the sky. Because <laughs> we're above the clouds. <laughs> Wait. Here's something tears? Oh yeah, here's, here's the compass portal. A portal to the... Or a compass to the portal. Yeah, that leads to the portal. I feel like there should be an actual um compass that would lead to the dimension if you lost it. Sitting there. Don't you think there should be one? Okay, facing portal. Or at least I'm thinking that is. And of course the Aether portal, pretty much the glowstone. You know, all glowstone. If I'm right. Yep, here it is. See? An Aether portal. And just like in the actual mod, this is what the Aether is made out of. Glowstone and a water bucket. Again, I just, I really want to say something like the Aether become an actual feature in Minecraft. <laughs> Have an actual sky heaven dimension. Since we got the Nether, which you, like I said, know what it, the Netter represents.
also works in the ether too, so you don't have to worry about losing where the portal to get back is. I mean, it's more fun to just fall. Because <laughs> you fall slowly until you hit the ground and you won't take damage. So. I really hope, again, I really hope we one day we get an actual update that focuses on a sky dimension again once we get the end dimension updated and then we can we can focus on new dimensions like in an actual sky dimension maybe has some similarities with the ether again have Probably not exactly copy it unless King Bay Dogs wants to pretty much copy the exact same thing since he is the creator of the Aether. He is the original creator, so and again he works at Minecraft now on the on the game itself now, so pretty much they could do whatever they want with a sky or with the Aether. Those don't do anything. Wait. I wonder. I wonder. Oh, I don't think the warden spawn eggs in this since it's replaced with one of the aether things. Dang it, I was gonna say. Wait, I wonder if I could still summon it though. Maybe I can still summon it? Summon. Warden? Nope. We can't summon a warden in this aether dimension. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> I thought the warden egg probably would have been replaced with one of. Um, one of the aether mobs in this map in this marketplace map I thought it would be <laughs> just clouds there whoa Ew. man you go fast on this what is this oh Eric's or something cloud pack dice <laughs> Yeah, I definitely love the Aether. <laughs> I hope we get something like that in the future. For an actual update, we need something like that. Very laggy here. Very laggy here. You know, now I'm going to just some old worlds. That I've had on here. You want to say my old, my old bedrock survival let's play world? You want to see my old survival let's play world before bedrock came? <laughs> before when it was just my PlayStation 4 survival let's play world before bedrock? You want to see it? I still have that playlist. When it was still Minecraft PlayStation 4 edition on the Legacy edition.
Man, remember the Legacy of Destin? 4J Studios? Those old days? Mmm. Battle mini games, the tutorial worlds, the whole, I, the con, the console edition version. I love Bedrock, but you just have to miss the legacy, especially with, you know, the reset nether option and the end option and, um, the tutorial worlds and battle mini game tumble guide. But it makes sense of it getting discontinued. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that still play the Legacy Edition. I wonder if this is even going to load because of how old it is. <laughs> how old that world is that we're living into. So, I wouldn't be surprised. And it asked me if I wanted to upgrade it to the new caves. <laughs> that just shows how old it is. That just shows how old it is. Oh, dang, I'm in the air. Oh, I'm in the air. Oh dear me. I have <laughs> Look at all this. Right here though. I said do a video comparing the builds in my our death survival let's play world, my old survival let's play world, to my new survival let's play world. I really said do a comparison. A video doing a comparison. I really should from this old survival let's play world from the legacy edition to my new bedrock let's play world currently 1.19 until 1.20 comes out and then it will be called 1.20 survival let's play world. I always love revisiting some of the old don't you just love revisiting some of your old minecraft worlds like this one right here. Especially some of your favorites. Your old favorite ones. I definitely like doing that once in a while. <laughs> I know this is a birthday cake. <laughs> I know that was a birthday cake. It's actually not that surprisingly laggy. I mean, yeah, it's still a little bit laggy, but not surprisingly. Surprise. So what's this say? 18th birthday. Wrong? What? Wait. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong. That's not from my 18th birthday. My 18th birthday special was on my No Survival Let's Play World. Remember? <laughs> that was on my, my No Survival Let's Play World. My 18th birthday special. It's on my new survival let's play world. I don't know why it says 18. It shouldn't say 18. Because, again, this was back on the Legacy Edition before Bedrock. And before Case and Cliffs and the Wild Update. So, yeah, that should not say 18. The birthday cake in my new survival let's play world from I built last year is right because it said 18. And that was last year. But that's this right here is wrong. I don't know why it says 18. It shouldn't though. It shouldn't though. Oh yeah, Bella's many Bella's weird build. <laughs> that's what it was doing. Haunted house type thing. Oh yeah, and this. This is weird. But when I converted this world 
to bedrock which yeah I eventually converted this world into bedrock it was first made into legacy edition for a while until bedrock came out and I did a little bit of this world right here on bedrock when it was still new when it first came out and when I did that this weird stuff happened I didn't do this I remember this happening for the first time, and it's weird having these things just, I don't understand, like, and look, even vines and weird things happening, like weird things re can really happen when it comes to upgrading your old worlds, <laughs> like a lot of weird stuff like that can happen. I don't know why, but it happens. Oh yeah, I, I totally forgot about that build right there. A bowling alley, my, I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, the barber shop, a Christmas store, which the door's broken off, that's not good. My Lego store, chum bucket, karate, dojo area, the Warner Brothers, Water Tower, me and ATGs, and Angry Birds 19's boys hangout area. Man, that just shows how old this world is because when Eugene and Angry Birds 19 um, played with me, like, wow, that just shows you. My museum, my invader museum, my goofy house. Crash up there, 2021 logo, my Phantom Farm, Kyrie's, you know, Kyrie that you y'all seen <laughs> on some of my videos, her old house which is covered in cobwebs now and moss, Spongebob's house, my clock tower, my Christmas tree from, I bet this sign's wrong too. 2020, you know, that year, the <coughs> year, always the year we try not to remember a whole lot, um, my Iron Golem farm, I think it is, yeah, our villager farm, I think, my tree farm, my netter storage, Zoglin, yeah, Zoglin. I almost forgot his name. <laughs> Veggie Fueled Restaurant, yep, I remember this. Coco Lou, <laughs> my church, Golden Heavens Church, my ice cream parlor, villager houses, mushroom storage. Again, I've went overboard with all these storage. My hospital over there. Bella's old house. A Christmas tree, I'm guessing, from 2021. Right? Oh, 2019. Jeez. <laughs> That's before the world went into... And the people gone to total chaos. My course fruit farm. My Strider house. Sir Daniel. My birthday cake from... 2019, my 16th birthday. Jeez, my 16th birthday. And again, I'm, I'm gonna be 19 in two months. Like, jeez. <laughs> my kelp sacred re restaurant from SpongeBob. My bee farm. My home sweet home alone sign that I made to lean up to home sweet home alone. My police station. My coffee shop. My fireworks storage. My Cemetery, plankton, my sulker, or my storage, my regular storage, because I built a giant sulker. My house, again, that's not my original house. My two original houses, uh, my house right here. 
with my netherite bacon, fully powered up bacon up here. My little basement area. Yeah, I can just say. My Hello Kitty statue, my Rudolph, I, I has her cupquake, pretty sure. My Santa Claus, which looks really weird since it's not loaded in properly. There we go. Santa Claus, goats. That was leading up to the hype for Cajun Clips. Before even Cajun Clips came out. Robin, a Simpson statue. Um, Steve, or Anvil area. Bella's other house that she made. My snow. Powder Snow Farm, Zaxby's, KFC, okay, I do remember this area being a lot laggy, um, McDonald's, my YouTuber apartments, Popeyes, Candace, I built over there, um, Subway, a bakery, KFC, Domino's, this used to be Abby's house, my ex-girlfriend's, but, I pretty much destroyed it and replaced it with this. <laughs> I remember destroying it and replacing it with this, which this looks way much better. Honestly, it looks way much better, way better. My post office, my enders, my end storage. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh no, that's where I laid the Ender Dragon. Yeah, the Ender Dragon head, the giant Ender Dragon head is the the storage for the end stuff, the end dimension items, yeah. This was gonna be a pet house, but I completely abandoned that build. These, I don't, I guess I don't know what I was doing with this. A courthouse. This is supposed to be a library, a giant bacon, and my enchanting area. Oh uh, yeah, I built a little, um, Noid over there. I got a bank. I got a... Oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> I got a, um, science thing for, you know, the, um, the education edition. My cat place. My house build over there. A giant mystery block public toilets right here. An acorn. You know, it looks like a poop. A pile of poop, but it ain't. GameStop. Taco Bell. Yeah, I see it's a little laggy, or getting a lot laggy over here. My drink stand. A car wash. A shakes store. A comic book store. A pharmacy. Uh, don't like to mention place, which y'all can just read from right there. Um, a news store, newspaper store, donuts shop, my coconuts, or coconuts, <laughs> my cocoa bean farm, my gym, the fern, or candles shop, the Xbox Series XS. I built some hearts that I built, the axolotl. Exolotl storage. My Cajun Cliff storage. My YouTuber build. I can't remember who I built this for. I'm sorry. My, um, convenience store. Convenience store right here. I think this is a makeup department, you know, for all girls that use makeup. <laughs> um, a burger. Sop, or burger restaurant, my Spongebob chicken plaid statue, and I got a lot of builds here from my old survival let's play world. Some of these I want to bring into my new survival let's play build, or in my new survival let's play world, I want to bring over, or well build in some of the builds from here I want to build in my let's play world, my new let's play world, my nether portal. One of my cats. 
Wilson, I built from Castaway. <laughs> a creeper grinder. A giant Coke or Pepsi bottle. Pe Pepsi can. A lava lamp. My desert house. Um. Gaming with Jen. My Easter egg from 2021. Oh yeah, this place was going to have, I remember it had a working elevator that I was going to have. It, it worked once and then it stopped working. <laughs> so yeah, I completely abandoned it. But pretty much that's another, I guess, villager breeder, I guess you could say. More like a trading area. A train station inside of a giant minecart, a Japanese house, a PJ Mask headquarters, an enchanted apple over there, my pumpkin, the Minecraft logo, Joe the Creeper's house, I remember Joe, my cat's house, my birthday cake, or my cupcake from 2020 my 17th birthday okay it's, I feel like some of these signs are wrong I don't know why it might be wrong I have a feeling that they're wrong probably <laughs> looking back at them they're probably wrong my spyglass area that was before the spyglasses came out I was getting ready for the spyglasses uh, RIP CTR when Nitrofield and its updates the 2020 which I read in red which it fits that year perfectly no mask which that fits perfectly my minion my pumpkin from gosh I don't know 2019 my freaking huge ender dragon that I built. Like this thing I remember taking forever. My Mario statue. Which I do want to build a new Mario statue. For getting ready for tomorrow movie. Next year. That will be great to do. My Pizza Thursday. Um statue right here I built for Pizza Thursday. My pumpkin from 2020, you know, that year. Yeah, I always say, you know, that year for it. The Happy Fourth of July from 2021. My Strider Rice. I remember building this. Um, Black Widow. My giant, I think, iPhone. I think it is. It was my giant iPhone. Patrick. Superman, Cuphead, or Cuphead and thing, fan build, a, or the Paw Patrol headquarters, the townhouse, I guess that says, I'm not too sure, a poop emoji, a mutant creeper, a tennis court, a giant Oreo, my niece Carly's build right here. Jesse from Minecraft Story Mode's house. Man, I miss Minecraft Story Mode. I really, really wish it never got discontinued. <laughs> I really miss Story Mode. Um, my you know the chicken guy. Sometimes I can remember his name. Sometimes I can't. But the KFC chicken guy. <laughs> You know who he is. Name's just slipped now. My pumpkin from 2021. Oh yeah, the giant warden that I built. Getting ready for when, before we knew that the warden was delayed to the wild update. This was, this was built getting ready for the caves and cliffs update before we knew that the, this was before we knew the warden was delayed to the wild update. <laughs> so, just to let you know. But still, 
this took a long time. It would be great to actually build something like that again, but it definitely was kind of frustrating trying to get it right. A giant UFO over there. Dingo's Diner. Yep, I built Dingo's Diner. Belt Dingo's Diner. My Swamp House, which would have worked perfectly for the Wild Update with the Mangrove Swamps. But again, that house was made. Pretty much a lot of these things were made before Caves and Cliffs and the Wild Update. This whole survival world pretty much was made before Caves and Cliffs and the Wild Update. So... <laughs> Yeah, my smiling glasses emoji, my elytra, or my elytra ray, rings area, my honey slide, literal honey slide, <laughs> a literal honey slide, oh yeah, my second town I built. I know it's annoying for me to travel without my elytra. Forgive me. It is annoying. Oh yeah, Stampy's bedroom. I built Stampy's bedroom. Right here. Even the signs that Stampy has hanging over his bed. Which, this is his old bedroom. This was his old bedroom before Hit the Target destroyed his bedroom in his lovely world. This is his old bedroom. Not his current new bedroom. So just to let you know, that was his old bedroom, if you've seen Stampy. My pumpkin, or my Halloween shop, I'm guessing, from 2021 as well. I didn't place a sign, so it's hard to tell. A Burger King, water, what a burger? I always called it water burger, I don't know why. Crazy Dave's house. I don't know why I built this. <laughs> Alright, this belt, I don't know why I built. Um, a windmill, a jewelry store, a terracotta, a glazed terracotta, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> storage. A sponge storage. Yeah, I have a lot of weird storage. My azalea looking. I don't know what to call it. My snow house shelter thingy. I can already. I can. You can probably already know what this is just from looking at it. Another fan build. I've done a lot of fan builds in this. I still do fan builds. An emerald storage. Yeah, I'm get, I got a little carried away with the storages. My little theme park right here. My water slide, my skating rank. I was gonna, I was going to build a basketball court, which you can probably see the layout over there. But again, I never finished it. Oh, it's so annoying to travel without fireworks. <laughs> But trust me, there's a lot of builds in this one <laughs> survival world right here. For real. My old survival world has a lot of builds. My baseball field. Now this was one of my favorites. Because <laughs> it also took me forever to build. But it, it just looks good. It looks good too. Because the lights actually do work. When it turns night, I made it so I put daylight sensor so it actually turns on when it's night. Again, this was my favorite. A baseball field. Again, I would like to build a new baseball field in my, in my current Survival Let's Play. I would really like to build...
Which, heck, I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure of, since, yeah, pretty sure, hang on, since I don't do the survival world, and, yeah, since I don't do the survival world anymore, I put it so I can turn into creative if I want to, because I don't do the survival world anymore, so, I just turn it, I can, I'm allowed to turn it into creative now, <laughs> yeah. Duh. I don't know why I didn't do that to begin with. <laughs> Which I wonder if I would be able to find... Like, an ancient city in this world. Since this world was made before the ancient cities. So it would be interesting if I was able. Just gotta have some time. I don't know, we could find, we could have ourselves an ancient city, you never know. <laughs> I'd be quite surprised if we have an ancient city and a made all the way back on the Legacy Edition <laughs> before Bedrock, before the ancient cities even in Caves and Cliffs and Wild Update. I'm pretty sure I made this when, sometime when Update Aquatic released. I'm pretty sure. That's comes to show how old it is. Yeah, it comes to show how old it is. I don't even... I don't think I have Spectator in this... Which I wouldn't really want to put any experimental features on. Oh wait, what does it say? Okay, let's keep going. I wonder if it's, I wonder if that ancient city is even gonna be there when we get to the coordinates. It may not. We may have already explored the area that it's leading us to. I don't remember everywhere, everywhere that we have explored. So it may just lead us to nothing. Okay, so it said one. Negative one four zero zero. What was the last one? More negatives. Again, we'll get back to that first coordinates once we get to the last piece of coordinates. Again, let's just see if it does actually lead us there. I doubt it. I'd be amazed. Wait, hang on. Okay. I didn't see seagrass. Um, 14. Back up. Beep, 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 beep. Back up, keep backing up, keep, keep backing up. Fourteen, it said. Oh, sixteen. Pretty sure these are the right coordinates. We're about to see. Maybe. Don't know. Oh, look at here. <laughs> Found an ancient city and, uh, gosh, hang on. I, want, I, want, I, I really want to see the exact first video I did on the Survival Let's Play world. I'm very curious. I'm curious. I know I got the playlist still. Where is it? It's probably down at the bottom. I should have it. Oh, hang on. I forgot I deleted it. I deleted those videos. I don't know why. <laughs> but still, it was like in 2018. So I still I still don't have those current ones. That really sucks. I don't know why I did that. 
But still, I made this world in 2018, way before. Again, it was it was end of year of update Aquatic. It was in September, I know, and update Aquatic came out on 9/11 in 2018. So yeah, it was sometime after Update Aquatic came out. Still on the Legacy Edition. It was the last major update that the Legacy Edition got. You know, the console edition got. So, but still, I'm very surprised that an ancient city actually managed to spawn in this survival world right here. This four-year-old? Yeah, four-year-old past four-year-old survival let's or four-year-old world that right here that's crazy I'm just surprised this actually still managed to spawn <laughs> I wouldn't even I didn't even think an ancient city would have spawned here just considering how old this, how old or long ago it was since I made this survival world, I wouldn't have thought that an ancient city would have spawned here. But no, I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm surprised, that's all. Yeah, I'm surprised, that's all. I'm just, I'm not really going to take the loot because I kind of want to keep it in there. You know? But I'm just impressed, though. I'm impressed that Ninja City actually managed to spawn in this four-year-old, four years ago, since I first created this world on here. <laughs> Crazy. I would have, I would have never thought that it would have actually spawned. I have 14 notifications. Jeez. Man. Let's see. Hmm. 
let's see. One of my favorite Spyro maps that I made. That was inspired on Enter the Dragonfly. Since, you know, I love Enter the Dragonfly. I actually like Enter the Dragonfly. Don't hit me on that, but I like Enter the Dragonfly. Ignoring the issues that it has. Yes the, is, yes, the amount of issues that it has, but just ignore the issues and lack of ish, glitches and stuff. I love the levels. But yeah, to sow my love on Enter the Dragonfly, I made this type of style of adventure map of Spyro Base. Pretty cool, ain't it? Because we even have the crystallized statue right here where you also get the abilities. We have Bianca. We have a statue right here where it leads to Nasty Nork and Ripto. Ripto and Nasty's lair. And instead of dragonflies, I got dragon souls. Yeah, dragon souls. Got pretty much the same layout of the hub areas like ice breath like certain abilities needing to go to the area levels I'm kind of curious if I am going to make or wanting to make a new area I don't know though you know, what the wild update base. I don't know if I want to make a new area that is based on the wild update. I don't know exactly. I can't remember if I made a proper sequel to this. Might have. Been, I may have. Ha I may have made a sequel to this right here. Either I have or I haven't. Hard to tell. But I do love the levels. I can tell you. I love the levels. Like, I can go to the levels. Like, we got this level right here, which is the first level. I can't remember the names of the levels. But this is like a lumberjack type of one. You know, lumberjacks. The villagers are supposed to represent lumberjacks in this level. Or the civilians are supposed to represent lumberjacks because there's trays and lots of wood. And you gotta help out the lumberjacks. And again, since we're in creative, I can fly and show y'all the outline of the level. Feels like a proper long-ish level based for, I mean, yeah, spiral levels are pretty much like a circle right near pretty much circle base that's what spiral levels are technically so i guess this level wouldn't necessarily be exactly a circle because again that's how spiral levels are they're in a circle because the exit is right at the start how spiral levels are maybe if i make a proper sequel to this, then I would do like proper circles. Or, well, you can't make a proper actual circle in Minecraft, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean by it. Again, we got gems. We got gems. We got task for just like in Enter the Dragonfly, where they will reward you, and even some scattered for you to collect too. Even right here, we got the Ice Breath ability. The portal will lead us back. I mainly want to sew some of my favorites. 
I will have to break this and replace it back. Yeah, I will have to replace this back, but it's fine. I just want to show y'all some of my favorite levels. You start in an igloo, which I thankfully found an igloo when I was planning out this level. This actually generated by itself is igloo, and it worked perfectly. Again, the, well, the civilians are polar bears. And you have a giant fall here. Thankfully, there's water, so you have nothing to worry about. One of the tasks is getting rid of fires, or campfires right here. One's fishing, one's climbing, one's saving polar bears, their polar bear family, in blocks of ice, a wrestling polar bear, a racing, a, a sledding off of a mountain, our icy area, right here, an icy slope area pretty much, you know, like a slide sliding down pretty much <laughs> kinda like this one pretty good and the exit place those back mm. I also liked how this one was too. And again, some of them need certain amounts of dragon souls. Or I think they're dragon souls. I feel like there are. Might have been on a scrapped one that I was making. That was going to be a sequel. It was going to be a sequel, but I scrapped it. So I'm going to have to basically rebuild it from the ground up. But yeah, this one's in a jungle with polar bears or panda bears as civilians. And fun fact, when I was building these, I was actually listening to Spyro into the Dragonfly music. <laughs> I love the soundtrack. We have Hunter. Yes, I put an ocelot. It's it's the closest thing that I can use for it's the closest thing that I got for Hunter. So that's the only thing I that's as close as I could get for Hunter. I hope I just Oh, thank goodness. I thought I accidentally broke that command that command block. I was so worried I broke that command block. <laughs> that would have not been good. Um yeah, that's some of the levels. And again, the Nether one is actually over this way, pretty much. Yeah, just sewn some. Wanted to sew some of the worlds. Going to revisit some of the old worlds that I had. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe if you don't, which one of the kitchens turned on, share so anything new, and let me know what y'all think the cosmos float, and hopefully you are, are hyped for Minecraft Live, and again, we'll be doing another stream tomorrow talking, or when 1.20 gets announced, I'm going to be talking about what we learned, or what about talking about 1.20 of it once it gets revealed, and also talking about everything else that we saw at this year's Minecraft Live. So hopefully I enjoyed it and catch you on the next one. And hopefully you're excited for 1.20.